Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And I wanted to show you a quick little trick here. What you're looking at is the render view for a scene where I've done a little bit of compositing with a PNG. And this is actually that uh, what I'm doing with the lens flare here. Now, if I go back to the OpenGL, you can see that there is this large black frame here, of course, because it's not being rendered. Now, two things. If we look in our node view, this is our lens flare. That is the PNG that I imported, but I have a blending node. And opening this up, I just have it set to screen. Now, if this were set to normal, close it out, and I went back to our render view, this is what it looks like normal. But what I want to do is set this to screen. This is the equivalent of us doing something in Photoshop and setting it to screen. So it's ignoring the black and only showing the white pixels. All right. Now, the other thing I want to do, let's go back here. When I'm working in OpenGL, I don't really want to see this large object. So I'm going to add another node here. So I'll simply hit return and type in VISI for visibility. And I'll pull this in, just holding down my option key, Alt on PC. So it's into that cable. And if I open this, I don't want this to show in the OpenGL mode. So I can just turn that off. But it is going to show in soft render. So if I close this and I go back to the render view, there is our light. All right. And the rest of the spotlight is just using blurs, but we're not talking about that right now. We're just talking about how I brought in a PNG lens flare and composited it into our scene. All right, this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And this is a small excerpt or we're going to be showing this in our simple production rigs for Toon Boom Harmony. Have a good one.